Hi guys, welcome to Hots Hall. If you look over here, we have a, we a dining hall called Fulbright. Mm -hmm. They have amazing desserts. I got a brownie and ice cream every day, so watch out for that freshman 15 because it is real. Very uh, nice, very nice. <laughs> over here we have quad C uh -huh. and quad B. And over here we have Maple Hill. And right beside Maple Hill, we have a place called Club Red. It's like a convenience store. You can get snacks, last minute ramen noodles, toothpaste. And we also have the Hill Grill, which has chicken and burgers and grilled cheeses, which I recommend. All right, very um, nice. All there by uh, Maple. All there by Maple, yes. So it's like maybe 300 feet away. Sure. And over here we have uh -huh. parking and Garland Garage, which has more parking. Uh -huh. We have Small Mart, which is like what is Small Mart? It's like a teensy Walmart, but yeah. it somehow has all of the things that you need. It's pretty dense. Perfect. There's a lot of stuff on the shelves. A lot of stuff. Uh, we also have a couple of restaurants like Subway and fast food like that. Sure. We have a, people, a couple of people already tuning in, Summer. Um, feel free to chime in and tell us where you're from. We'd love to know uh, since you're viewing us. And Summer, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? You're a student here, right? Yeah, I'm a student here. I'm an honors student. I'm a junior, so I lived in Hots Hall two years ago, but I remember it just like yesterday. I'm majoring in honors psychology and minoring in biology on the pre-med track, so Very wish me cool. luck. Yes, yes, good luck to you. You're going <laughs> to be a doctor you. someday. I hope so. Very cool. Well, so let's um, head inside to Hots. Okay, sounds good. Great. All right. And um, usually in order to get in, you're going to have to be sure you fob in, yes. which is kind of a security measure we have. We have pre-fobbed for you, so you don't have to worry about right that. Here. There's the fob. Yes, exactly. You'll have that little thing on your key. Did you always have your fob? Not you always. To? I would wait at the door and wave until someone came and found me sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, hey, how are you doing? Hello. Good, good. What's your name? I'm Emily Davis, and I'm the CRE for Hot Hall. Okay. What is a uh, CRE? Um, it stands for Coordinator for Residence Education. So basically, I supervise the RA staff. Um, I do a lot of the day-to-day -day operations of the building, make sure it's still standing at the end of the day. That's important um, thing. Uh, help with programming and kind of am in the in hot with honors, kind of the liaison between the two. Oh, okay. Hey, we just got a question. Yeah. Molly asks, is the small mart within walking distance? Oh yeah, it is like a two-minute walk. It's that, a two-minute walk. Way. That direction. Yeah, it's not far at all. Absolutely. <laughs> so you mentioned programming. What is some of the kind of programming? that you do here at HOTS? Um, we do a lot of really large-scale programs. Mm -hmm. um, the space you'll see as you kind of walk them around the building um, is made for gathering. Mm -hmm. um, and so in every dead day in December, we have a big casino night where we have our adoptive profs uh, come deal for us. Um, we do different tournaments and games and stuff like that. And then Honors does a lot of um, stuff as well. Um, we have a, a lot of stuff going on here. Sure, sure. And yeah. you mentioned Honors College. Of course, this is a unique kind of collaboration between housing and the Honors College. Mm -hmm. So we work together very closely. Yeah. And um, as a matter of fact, I was looking over here talking about games. Yeah. You've got, what is this, uh, uh, pool and ping pong. Did you ever play any pool or ping pong? I did, but yeah? you, you don't want me on your team. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I mean, I think it speaks for itself. The ping pong balls are everywhere when I play. Oh so. my gosh, okay, okay. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who kind of sit there and play. Oh yeah, all night. <laughs> all night. Cool. Cool. <laughs> all night long? Yeah. Yes. And I see over here there's a kitchen. Let me kind of show that off. Did you ever um, did you ever uh, cook? Uh, yes, my friend Tatum, shout out to Tatum. Was Tatum? Vegan. Tater or Tatum? <laughs> well, sometimes we call her Tater. But Tatum <laughs> Yoakum, shout uh -huh. out to Tatum. She made vegan queso right here. Oh. Vegan, because there is vegan cheese apparently. Wow. Yeah. And a lot of people use the fridge, but... Don't bet on it, because a lot mm -hmm. of people might drink your drinks, eat your food, so keep in your own fridge does, if I were you. Does labeling your food work here? It does work here. Okay. I would label. Yeah. Okay. If you label, maybe you, it'll be it'd safe. It'd be safer. Okay. Good deal. Lesson learned. <laughs> All right. Cool. So you got the kitchen area there, and uh, let's see. We've got a big theater room. Again, feel free to chime in and tell us where you're from. We're very curious to know where you're from that you're coming here this fall. All right. Theater room. Nice. Okay. That's a pretty big TV. What did you watch here, if anything? Um, actually, I watched zero movies in here. Really? Okay. Yes, I always 
just Netflix up in my room with my roommate, oh, but uh, a lot of people did come down here and watch Harry Potter Marathon, Star Wars, everything. Any uh, TV shows that were, uh, yeah. Breaking said, Bad was Breaking really Bad. big when I lived here. So. Okay, because it was a final season maybe, or they were I just watching so. the old leftovers. And Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Definitely. Black. Definitely. Yeah. Good to know, yeah. Well, cool little space here to use if you want to. But you might be like uh, Summer and just watch Netflix in your... Up in your room. There you go. All right, well, let's go check out some more of this haul. Okay. So we're walking now through sort of the main corridor on the first floor. And we've got our music room. Are we going in there? Yeah, let's show it off. Okay. Uh -huh. everyone because we have a lot of band students that live in Hots. A lot of band students, yeah? Yes. Okay. So this is a space, I guess you could really play any instrument you want in here. Any instrument, and it's almost soundproof, so you can usually hear like a faint piano in the distance, but it's oh. pretty soundproof. I can see how that might create a little ambiance. Yeah, it does. Did you um, make a lot of friends while you were here? At Hots? Yeah. I made almost all my current friends here at Hots. You mean like the friends you're friends with now? Yes, I met my sophomore year roommate, I met my boyfriend, all of my closest friends. Wow, that's yeah. a very very interesting freshman year. Yeah. You had a lot going on. Yeah. Um, fantastic, good. Well, let's uh, head on out and see what else we've got here. Now, we do have a summer camp going on here, so you may see some campers walk by, but that's what's going on. All right, so this what is this room called? This is the letters room. The letters it's room. The giant letters, which you will sign yes, if you yes. live here. Great. Oh, and who is this? Hey, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Good, good. Man, what's your name? My name is Terrence Boyd. I'm the Director of Recruitment and Retention with the Honors College. Okay, well, hey, thank you for joining us. No problem, no problem. What can you tell us about the Honors College and Retention and Recruitment? Hmm, what can I tell you? Uh, I can tell you that the Honors College is a great place for students who really want the most out of life. They are high achieving, high ability, like Summer, our mm -hmm. great tour guide here. Oh, Shout out to Summer. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, students in the Honors College, they love a great academic challenge. They love to study abroad, which we, we really focus on. Mm -hmm. That's how I met Summer, honestly. <laughs> How'd y'all meet? Well, I feel like, you know, <laughs> In Not, Peru. Right. We met in Peru. On the bus. We were making yes. up Harry Potter characters for each other. Sure. Yeah. I think I wasn't Hermione. Uh, no, was you like, were uh, Floor. I was Floor. Floor. Yeah. Yes. Which, which, which house is that? Is that Slytherin? So, no, I'm joking. Floor was from, uh, she was from the, another wizarding school. Remember oh, the okay. fourth one? Oh, the blonde one. Yes. yes. The one from like the wizarding yeah. uh, contest. I but, see. I see. Well, cool. <laughs> so we have to go back. But yeah, we met in Peru um, during the H2 Passport trip. Mm -hmm. So I accompanied Summer and 15 other undergraduate students, honor students specifically, to Peru. We went to Lima, Arequipa, Cusco, Puno, Puno. Machu Picchu, <laughs> Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fun to say for everybody, it is, right? It is, right. It is. Wow. So like study abroad is a big part of the honors experience it sounds like. Yes, and like look living here in Hots. So uh, you met the CRE Emily, um, mm -hmm. you met summer but here in Hots and just in the honors college over overall we really push studying abroad. International education is important. Over fifty percent of our students will study abroad at least once by the time of graduation. Uh, students have gone to South Africa well thinking continents based, they've gone to Africa, South America all six minus Antarctica, all seven minus Antarctica. Maybe this year in Antarctica. No, no, that's good, that's good. We're going for 2019 the... with Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, wow, yeah, well, again. From a hot standpoint, we really push studying abroad because it's just a culture of, you get to meet people who also have that same ambition of wanting to study abroad. Um, so you meet a student who wants to like strengthen their skills in Spanish, like, oh, well, you're interested in the study abroad program in Madrid, so am I, let's talk about that. Or we have programs here, um, like out on the patio or in mm -hmm. our uh, theater room, which you all saw, that really get students together along with faculty members as well, who can talk about those study abroad experiences and how do you get those things funded? Because through the Honor Scholars, we do provide funding for study abroad. Ooh, funding, very important part of the whole <laughs> equation. It Thanks. is, it is. Will you join us as we walk through oh, Hearts? Yes. Maybe sure, chime sure. in with some, some information if you have some? All yeah, right. cool. Well, let's continue on, Summer, and look. All right, uh, this is the lobby. People hang out here 24-7. I swear they sleep here, they wake up here. They're called the lobby dwellers. 
They're, they're here all the time. Is that true? Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's 100% oh, true. Definitely. <laughs> for freshman year, there was a group of students who, they like 24-7, and it was kind of a thing. I had RAs in the group me, and if there was a tour coming through, we needed to be fancy on camera. They would just text in the group me, dwell, and they would show up. It just one awesome. word, yeah. dwell. They knew, they knew what it meant. Yeah. That's what it meant to dwell, is to be here. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Well, great spaces, great common spaces. Yeah, so we'll follow on through with you. All right. The fireplace comes on in the wintertime, uh -huh. which is super cool. That is super cool. Let's show off the vending, too, just so people know. If you do have those late night uh, need for a snack or drink or something like that, you can come down here and get some vending yep. stuff. Run out of ramen. Do they have ramen in there, really? No, if you uh, run out, then you, you, run you out can of get ramen, a Twinkie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the office mm -hmm. desk area. If you want to rent kitchen supplies, you can just use them in the kitchen. If you need to talk to... Uh, an RA or anything like that, then that's where you can find them. Fantastic, very good. Yeah. And um, any thoughts on like where do they pick up mail? For example, uh, you pick up mail over at Maple Hill South, mm -hmm. yeah. which is just like yeah, one just building over. One building over, and it's during business hours. So you have to go between eight and four to get your mail and packages, but that's where you get. Or you can get mail anytime because you're you have a combination to mm -hmm. it. Um, but packages, you have to go when the hall admin Jahan is there. Sure, sure. Thank you for that. Care packages. Mm -hmm. Care packages as well? Yes. Yeah. Like, parents, please send your students yes, the largest them. care packages. <laughs> they can use them, especially yes. during finals, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on our left, we have uh, like a study room, meeting room. Uh -huh. Let's go and walk on over there. Okay. okay. There used to be a printer in here. I don't know okay. if they have that in the school year, but a lot of people do their homework in here. It's really quiet. Everyone knows to not talk in this room, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's really nice. So you would study in there as well? Oh, yeah, sometimes? I would study in there. Very cool, very cool. Nice. And this is just another lounge area. A lot yeah. of people would watch movies and just hang out over here. We have the weird men-shaped chairs. <laughs> More comfortable than they appear to be. They are an interesting shape. Yes. They are indeed, yeah. And so there will be some programming, though, out here, too, is it right? Um, right on the outside of, what is it called? Uh, professors on the Patio? Yes, Professors what is it? on what the Patio. What is the name of it? It's called Professors on the Patio? Professors, professors and Pizza. Professors and Pizza. We the forgot patio. the pizza. What were we the thinking? Pizza. Okay. And you go out here, and there's a professor, mm -hmm. and there's pizza. And you, <laughs> hence the name. Hence the name. And so you learn about studying abroad, classes, resumes. Sure. Why don't we head out there for just a second okay. and show them that space? Because it's kind of a fenced-in, nice space. I would say that summer, maybe not, the, not, I mean, you, summer, <laughs> yes, but the season of summer, not the best time to be out here. Maybe not the best time. Maybe at night or something, a lot of people come and hang out here. Yeah, but in fall, wow. Yes, it would be perfect. Perfect. In fall, this is amazing. So um, one of the big P's of Professor Peace on the Patio is the professor, <laughs> where we want to make sure incoming freshmen or current freshmen, they have the chance to connect with professors. They're not these big, bad, scary people whose life it is to make your life a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> security violations. <laughs> we are very secure hen huts. Mm -hmm. um, sure. But yeah, they come and they talk about a plethora of things. And it's really just a great chance to get connected with your professors uh, mm -hmm. who you might have as a freshman or you'll have down the road who can help our research, just connect you with jobs or whatever it may be, honestly. So come out, have a piece of pizza, meet your professor, have a conversation. Well, this is like a nice covered patio piece. So. Yeah, it really is. It is nice out here. Fantastic. Great. Well, let's head on back inside. Thank you. I'll follow Thank you. you. All right. And you were showing us those unusually shaped... Uh, uh, human chairs. Human chairs. Yeah. They look like people. They feel like people. Or meeple. Kind of like meeple. <laughs> like the little board pieces. They really do. Nice. Okay. So then another group study area, another looks like. Another group study area. Uh -huh. And there's one on every floor, too. So you don't even have to leave your floor. Uh, over here. Mm -hmm. We have the CRE's office. There's Emily's office. Can we come by and cool. see you sometime, Emily? Absolutely. If we're living here? I'm, yes. If I'm there, <laughs> usually 9 to 5-ish, I'm there. Um, if not, I'm in the building somewhere, probably. Thank you very much. Excuse me. So then let's go through here. And I guess we're going to look at... You have a gym. Yes, a gym. So you don't even have to walk to the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can come right down here. We have everything that you need. Um, we have weights, uh, exercise balls, a treadmill, elliptical. Everything you need is right here. So you don't have to walk all the way to the Union or to the Hyper, which are also great. 
and sure. they're great to have, but it's good to have this right, right so close. Having it right here does yeah. is helpful. Make you use it more often. Yes, probably. definitely. Fantastic. Well, thank you. Thanks, Terrence. All right. So, what's been your favorite class so far that you've taken? Uh, H2P for sure, which is not my major or minor, mm -hmm. but it's been the most interesting class because it incorporates music and art and history and architecture with the best professors that I think I've ever had. So if you're thinking about H2P, definitely do it because it's been the best thing that I've had so far. H2P? H2P, it's Humanities Honors Projects. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very interesting. I like that. Yeah. It's awesome. So let's go check out a couple more things on the first floor before we go up to check out the wonderful uh, top of the building view. Yes. Let's see. To the laundry room? To the laundry room. Okay. That's where we're going. And we'll show the trash chute as well. Okay. So the laundry room was different when I was here, but mm -hmm. apparently now they have an app so that you know when your laundry is ready and you just you scan the washer and then they send you a text message whenever your stuff is done. Yeah, laundry alert is what we call it and we have um, some information just about that system but basically what it's meant to do is let you um, know what's open before you come down here. Yeah. And then whenever your stuff is finished it'll text you and let you know that it's done. That's, we're living in the future. The future is <laughs> the now. Future. So we have a lot of uh, dish, uh, washers and dryers here. And how much does it cost to uh, do your laundry? Uh, zero dollars, which is great. Except yeah. for, I mean, you probably want detergent and stuff like that. You will, and we'll recommend that you use pods, but yes. you know, use liquid if you need to. Um, powder is not really your friend here, but liquid's good, pods are even better. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well great, well we want to show off the laundry. Okay. And then let's see. You know, if the uh, we can show the track the um, the chute on the up on the other floors, unless you see it right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So not here. Oh no, right here. We'll show it right okay. here. Sorry. You Very good. Um, okay. So here's the big trash area, mm -hmm. but on every floor we also have a chute, so you can just open up the door, throw your trash down, and it comes down here, I guess. Comes down here, yeah, to be uh, to be tossed out into. Yeah. Uh, either recycled or to be um, tossed to the landfill. Yep, so super one of the convenient. Two. Yeah. Wait, hold the elevator. Uh, All right, so we'll catch the elevator now. Uh, right. Is it open? Uh, we'll, catch the next we'll catch the next one going upstairs. Yeah, we'll catch the next one. Oh, okay. Now, did you uh, ever? Uh, what floor did you live on? I lived on the ninth floor. Mm -hmm. Has the coolest views. Oh, we up actually, the very top. yeah, the very top. We called my uh, room the uh, penthouse suite because. <laughs> <laughs> at the corner on the very top and uh, we had great views. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, you said you met your best friend here mm -hmm. and a boyfriend as I well. Did. yes. Okay, how did you and, uh, the, and, and the best friend meet? Well, uh, she lived on my floor mm -hmm. and we would just study together. We were in classes together, H2P actually. Okay. And wow. so we drafted a lot of our essays together. We did homework and we went camping our first week here. <laughs> we made friends really quickly. Where'd you go camping? Uh, Devil's Den. Oh, if right. you've never okay. been, you should definitely check it out. So if you're like from another state and you've never heard, never heard of Devil's Den, yeah. what do you think sells it? What do you think Devil's Den has that? Man. It's really great. So there's so much hiking, mm -hmm. and there's also a river and a little waterfall. People get yeah. you. You can see I-49. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Old Main, Yokum. You can see the cranes where we're building the rest of our stadium, and you can see the view and MLK from here. Wow, you yeah. see it all. We had a question from Marissa. She said, I'm going to be living on the ninth floor. Was move-in day difficult? Uh, not difficult, a little hectic, just because, you know, your family, they're gonna miss you, and so they're sad, and so they're moving you up, and also like a little bit crying, and you get in the elevator, try to cram all your stuff in your room, and then they gotta go because you have an allotted time, so as soon as you get your stuff moved in, you're sitting in your room, and you're like, what do I do now? <laughs> so that's when you make the most friends, is move-in day. little existential moment of, yes. it's all up to me now. It is all up to you now. 
Emily, do you have any further thoughts about move-in or move suggestions you might give? Or? Yeah, move-in's my favorite day of the year. Yeah. Um, it is, like she said, it's easily the hardest, like busiest, craziest day of the year. Uh, but everyone's so excited to be here. Um, whenever you get to the lot, um, be sure that you follow the map that's online. Don't follow your GPS. It will take you wrong and you won't be able to turn into the parking lot if you come from the left. So please try to make sure that you are um, coming into our lot off of... Uh, Razorback and then um, on Cleveland, mm -hmm. um, but just be patient with us. There's a lot of people moving in, a lot of moving parts, but we'll we'll get you moved in, and we'll be so excited to see you. We will. You and your parents both. We're excited to see you come. All right, so let's head down now that we've seen this great view. Yes. Down to I believe four two is where we're going to okay. look at a room um, and a bathroom. And I guess I should point out this study area right here, oh, which yeah. I guess we have one on every floor. We have two yes. on every floor. These are really nice little study areas. We had a lot of our floor meetings here, and we would watch movies and eat popcorn. It's a good area. Nice. Very yeah. good. Okay. Well, I'll follow you on down. You got it for me? Thank you. All right. Oh, so the elevator, some of their, this elevator seems to move pretty fast. Yeah, usually they do. Mm -hmm. Had a few scary experiences. Oh, they yeah? were actually scary. We were fine. But you made it through. We made it. Okay. How's it going? Right. But I took the stairs a lot, just just because I was eating a lot of brownies, so. <laughs> you had to compensate for that. I had to compensate somehow. for that, yeah. <clears throat> What's your favorite thing in Fulbright? You used to eat there, right? Yeah, Fulbright. Uh, stir fry. There's a stir fry station, and you can get rice or noodles, and then eggs and vegetables and mushrooms. Another study, big study area right here. So this is really cool. So you don't buy a ton of water bottles. You can just bring a refillable one, mm -hmm. and it's purified water. And it's delicious. And this shows you how many uh, water bottles we've saved from being wasted, which is really cool. Did you bring your own water bottle? I did. Yeah. And the water's really good, so. Was it plastic, glass, wood? It was what glass was it? and it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was nice. Well, okay, so the bathrooms are actually really nice because you get your own uh, little stall. It's like a shower and a toilet all in one. You can yeah. shut the door, so there's a lot more privacy. Sure. Let's show them the shower. I guess is what's going on in there. And you do have all of these little hooks, hooks. to put your towel on right there. Yes. And this closes, so you've got your own your own space. Yes. So it's just yep. Yeah. And there's no shelves, uh, but. A lot of people bring caddies and they set them on the floor, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. And I just had my like shampoo, conditioner, little spongy thingy, and I set it in there and I just carry it back to my room. Yeah. 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 Uh, shower shoes, yes or no? Yes, I had pineapple flip flops, so I would be sure to bring them. I'm sure it's clean, but I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I got flip flops. I mean, you know, shower <laughs> shoes never a bad idea. Never a bad idea. Um, Kristen asked about do all the residence halls have water dispensers and all of them have some way of dispensing water. I think almost all of them have that bottle dispenser, but there might be a few old, old school water, water faucets in there as well. All right, here we go. And then we have toilets, but once you've seen one of them, you've seen them all. So oh. <laughs> nothing exciting there. All right, two, three. There's this little private toilet right here too, which we'll mention. Oh yeah, this is uh, my favorite bathroom. Uh, oh, and? These little signs, I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see them, they say vacant okay. or occupied. Vacant or occupied. So no one can ever walk in on you. Sure. You have a little sink there and Yep, and so if you get a toilet and a shower. Nice. So you get up early in the morning, you have your own little private bathroom. Yeah. This one is like the best, so everyone waits in line for this one. Mm. <laughs> What's the turnaround time when you're waiting in the line here? It takes uh, people fifteen minutes, yeah, ten minutes? About fifteen minutes. Okay. Yeah. We need a laundry alert for that bathroom. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go look at, uh, what else do we want to look at in this floor? Um, let's see, we got the room 230, study mm -hmm. room. We have a study, study room. Study room, that's right. Let's see. So it's covered in whiteboards, so you can just scribble everywhere you want. Uh -huh. And it's amazing because you can do math. So many people did calculus and physics. Uh, my friends and I wrote a lot of our essays on these boards, actually. 
And you wrote your essays on there? Like our outlines. Oh, okay. And then you wrote okay. our papers. <laughs> and a lot of people just study in here, do a lot of group work. It's really nice to have. And they're on every single floor, too. Very nice. Is there one of these on each side as well? Or what's on the other side? Do you know? There's a room uh -huh. on the other side. There's a room on the other side. Up just like this. Okay. So some lucky two people get a room that looks like this. It's the eight room. It's Everyone like the mega room. Knows. The eight room, the uh, mega room. Yeah. yeah, but that, so there's only one of these on each floor. Okay, okay, yeah. fantastic. Great. Well, let's continue to walk around. And there's a cable, it looks like, cable outlet. And let's go into one of the residence rooms. So I asked you how you met your best friend. Yes. How'd you meet your boyfriend? Uh, organic chemistry. <laughs> organic chemistry, okay. Yeah. I bet there was, all yeah, right. Yeah, romantic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So we're looking at this room, and let me just give them kind of a good view of the room here. All right. And that's the loftable furniture. And we have two wardrobes there. Yes. Now, did your room look a lot like this? It looked exactly like this. We uh, moved our wardrobes around a little bit, um, but other than that, it looked the exact same. We actually lofted our beds as, like, as tall as they would go, so mm -hmm. we could put our desks underneath, so we had our own little study space on each side. Sure, and there right now there is actually a desk underneath there, yeah. it looks like. and a dresser, mm -hmm. a desk, and this is like a little side table, too, which is lockable. You can put a lock on it. They will go higher. Um, they'll yeah. go up to, it looks like... Like right... Here? Yeah, yeah. I think you can put it. I think you can put it as high as right there. Oh yeah. Okay. So it'll go very high. Um, good deal. Good deal. Well, are there any questions about the room? As long as we're in here and kind of taking measurements for you. Um, do you mind opening up the window? Yeah, sure. One of them, just to give them a view of what we're looking at. Great. All right. So here's. The other parking lot that you can park in, mm -hmm. um, this is between Maple and Hots, and then there's one over here that's between the Quads and Hots. You can park in either one of these if you're a resident reserved, and there's one that's across the street that they built last year that you can also park in. Sure, and resident reserved is the red parking, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the red parking. Red parking yes. sticker for that. Now, you chose to live in resident reserved, or you lived in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, parked in another place. Um, I actually got a green pass in the beginning, and then I realized that you have to walk forever to get to your car. <laughs> so uh, I switched my pass to the Garland parking garage, which is right across the street. Uh, it takes like a minute to walk to, and it protects your car. So. That's a blue, is that right? Blue or purple? It's blue like or purple. red and blue. Red and blue, the okay. The blue is the reserve. So gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Molly asks, is it annoying to have to climb up to your bed? No, I thought it was fun. <laughs> but <laughs> Every night a new adventure, huh? I, I loved it. I actually, I stepped on this windowsill and then I hopped into bed. It's not that hard. Okay, okay, not too hard at all. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll show her how you would climb up and what you would do is use these sort of stair steps right there. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Yeah. And then uh, Megan asked how wide is the window. Would you mind helping her measure the all width right. of that window? <laughs> Um, I think we're talking about both windows. Let's do both. Let's okay. give them both measurements. So the full width of the window is, let's see. it looks like 131 inches. Molly, it's 131 inches. And then to measure just one of the panels, I guess. Yeah. That is about 16 inches. Okay. Sixty-six, sixty-seven 66, 67 yeah. inches wide. Okay. Thank you for that question. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Joanne asks, can you request to get your bed lofted before move-in day? And yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, the way you do that is you go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. And you make that request. Now, because we're getting so many of them, it's possible that your bed won't be lofted by the time you arrive, but you're certainly willing to make that, certainly open to making that request, and we will honor it as best we can. Um, I think these are pretty easy to loft if you yeah. decided to loft yourself. We suggest you bring a rubber mallet. Um, we have one at the desk. 
So if you get here, it's not lofted, you can go down to the front desk and ask for a mallet. Um, and you, it takes two people to do it. Don't try to do it by yourself, you will hurt yourself. Um, but yeah, we will have the equipment for you to do it. And then you don't have to worry about um, yeah. waiting. Yeah. So let's see, we got a couple more questions. Molly asks about how deep is the shelf? And the shelf of the window is what we were talking about. So if you could just give her the depth of that. All right, that is 14 inches. 14 inches. Mm -hmm. And then Tessa asks, do you recommend bringing additional drawer storage? I did. question for you, okay. I did. I put um, a set of drawers right here in the middle mm -hmm. uh, because we had a pet fish. <laughs> His name was Frank. We actually had three Franks. Frank one, two, and three because <laughs> two and one and two died. But um, Frank, so we, Frank, Frank kept dying. But we had a set of drawers, and um, we just put like our TV stuff, snacks, Frank, you know. And it helps. The wardrobes are big, the dressers are big, but we're girls. We have extra stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, uh, it was what a, a drawer. What what did it look like? It was from Big Lots. Okay. And it was like a build-it-yourself rolly cart. Nice. And we just put it right here, like that big. We built it on moving day. My dad is not happy with me. <laughs> okay. Well, um, any other questions that you'd like for us to answer? Summer, of course, has lived here, so she's got experience living here. Uh, uh, Emily, how long have you lived here? I've been in Hots for five years since we opened in, or this will be my fifth year. We opened in the fall of 2013, and I've been here since then. So you've seen a lot of coming and going of students. I have seen a lot of coming and going of students. Any uh, words of wisdom for our incoming freshmen? Um, I, from what I can tell, people have basically the time of their lives here. Not too much fun, um, but make sure that you're taking advantage of it. We do programs. Keep your door open when you're here so people get to know you. Hang out in the lobbies. Um, like we talked about earlier, people dwell here, and it's, it's built for coming together and uh, spending time together outside of your room. So don't just come in here and shut the door all the time. You won't get as much out of your experience. Would you agree with that? Yes, keep your door open because if you keep it closed, you know, random people can't come in and those random people will be your friends eventually, so. <laughs> your friends? Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, Molly has one more question for us. I'm just going to read just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, can I hang a shoe organizer or a mirror over the door of the wardrobe or will it make it off balance? I think she would be able to. I mean, it, I don't think it would close all the way because it is pretty tight whenever you close it. But if you're okay with it opening about that much or mm -hmm. however far, then yeah, a lot of people do it. So it's put fun. something like an over. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, I mean, yes, are very many people rushing that are in hots? Do you know? Yes, a lot of them do. My roommate freshman year did. Mm -hmm. So she was uh, doing rush my first week here, and a lot of girls on my floor were so. So yeah. Yeah. A big number here. Um, Great, great. Um, Marissa asks, can you please measure the wardrobe? So let's just give them the outside dimensions of length, width. Uh, All right. So the... The width mm -hmm. is about 35 inches. 35 inches is the width. And... A height, I guess. Do you want to hold that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. The length is about 70 inches. 70 inches, okay. Yes, Fantastic. 35 by 70. Let's go ahead and give them the depth, too, just to have a... You can measure from the outside too, or whatever's easier for you. Alright, the depth is about 22 and a half inches. 22 and a half inches. Yes. Great, thank you. Thank you. Susan! <laughs> and then, yeah. Built in mirror. So you do have a built in mirror right there. So keep that in mind. And each one of you has one of these wardrobes. Yes, you do. And uh, it holds a lot more than it, than it appears. And you have plenty of room to put shelving in if you want. Mm -hmm. um, Susan asks, where did you put your television? Oh, okay, so my roommate also had a little shelf that she brought. We mm -hmm. put our wardrobes against the ends of our beds so that we could put stuff on top of them by our beds. Oh, okay. And then we put uh, a shelf by the door and we put our TV right here. Okay, so yeah. these wardrobes are actually each up against the, the bed right there. Yeah, and then we could lay in bed and watch Orange is the New Black right there. Season one, two, three, and four? All of them. Did you binge? We binged. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ellis asked, can we see a room with a chase? Do we have a room with a chase on this floor? Um, I'm trying to think. The RA rooms are the ones that I can think of that have the, the chases. chases. And so okay. I don't know necessarily what resident rooms would have it. I also don't sure. know what's occupied and sure. what's not. Ellis, we have a lot of uh, campers right now for different summer camps. So unfortunately, we can't just like walk into very different rooms. I'm sorry. Um, Ellis, if you email me, 
Um, Emily again. If you email me, EAD003 at uark.edu, um, with like your room and everything, I can go measure whatever you need me to, um, whenever the camps have left before you get here. Okay. All right. Well, great. Well, I think, um, hey, can we have you? You want to tell us a little bit about <laughs> any, any final thoughts for incoming freshmen? Okay, final thoughts. Um, to echo what has been said, uh -huh. really just uh, open up policy is real. Uh, but going beyond the residence hall, let the campus be your home because here at the University, University of Arkansas, we're like one big family. It sounds so cheesy and cliche, but it's real. Um, because the friends that I met freshman year, especially in my residence hall, we're still great friends. One of them is uh, like, there's a bun in the oven, and we're like excited. I'm gonna be an <laughs> uncle, <laughs> you know. Um, Congratulations. You can wait on that. Uh, all of y'all can wait on that. <laughs> no but no, uh, just okay. right, no babies. But you know, really, just be open to all experiences and have a great time. Seek out help from your RA or your upperclassmen, the honor scholar staff. We're here for your success. Um, and yeah, just be happy. Absolutely. <laughs> Brittany chimed in and said, Live in hots! Exclamation point, exclamation point. You'll find your best friend you could ever ask for. <laughs> Very I'm nice, very it. nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, you want to wave us out? All right, see you guys later. Hope to see you in hot.